Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. Aruba against Jamaica CONCACAF Nations League, League B, Group C action. Jamaica three wins so far in the competition. They take on Aruba away now at the Argilio Hato Stadium in Curaçao. The reason why Aruba is not playing at home, their Trinidad Stadium has not met FIFA and CONCACAF standards. So for them, it's like playing away from home. And their captain, who I spoke to after the game, Eric Abdul, spoke about it and was quite irate with the fact that they have to play all of their games on the road. So there's no real comfort zone or anything like that. And you can see there at the foot of the table, one of many reasons why they're there. So Jamaica's results so far, 6-0 over Antigua, 4-0 over Guyana, 2-0 over Aruba. So it's getting down by twos. <laughs> Hopefully it's not nil-nil on Tuesday. <laughs> so yes, Aruba against Jamaica Tuesday evening at the Ergilio Hato Stadium in Curaçao. Underwhelming performance on Saturday evening at the office. You know, we, yes, the victory and it's three points. Those are the positives. The decision making the final third, that's something to consider as well. We are getting the ball out wide right. Taxi, Kimar Taxi Lawrence is whipping in diligent crosses and finding another player in a yellow shirt, which is great. But it's about that end product. That end product is still missing from our game. The way that we take set pieces as well, that's an area that needs improvement as well. So that is, those are some areas that will be needed to, to step up. From a defensive side of things, Damon Lowe, he made one clearance. He, he blocked uh, one of the Aruban attackers throughout the course of the game. And I feel that we haven't been tested really so far in the competition. Guyana gave us a few nervy moments in the second half over in Leonora. But other than that, Andre Blake has been a spectator throughout the course of the Nations League, especially these last three games. So it will be an interesting sort of test because the Curaçao support will be out there supporting Aruba, their Dutch neighbour in support. So they will have some support. And it'll be intriguing to see how we manage that surface as well, that artificial surface, because not many people, well, I can say that there, you have some players, part of the, the national setup, that aren't looking forward to tomorrow's game, that aren't looking forward to Tuesday evening's game, because of the type of surface. It is what it is, and we're just going to have to move on from it, because you have some places in the region that that's all they have. So hopefully that that we won't be able to we won't get any injuries from the game like we did against Haiti a couple of years ago Clayton Donaldson scoring a goal but getting injured as well as a number of other players on that artificial surface so hopefully we won't have any injuries from this game prediction Aruba nil Jamaica 2 that's my prediction in the second leg of this encounter Reggae Boys fans let me know your thoughts in the comments below let me know what your predictions in the comments below you think our improvement will there will be an improvement in our performance like assistant coach Jerome Wade says should we mix things up a bit in terms of personnel should we give Lamar Walker a start Junior Flemings give him some minutes under his belt or Amal Knight in goal why not give him a competitive start for the national team those are some questions that will be asked of the national setup moving forward as well another victory and Jamaica will be on 12 points and one step closer to promotion to League A of the CONCACAF Nations League and also, and also qualification to the 2021 edition of the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary.